All right, dad won't quit smoking. Oh, Jesus. Your dad will not quit smoking. What the hell's wrong with him? He's going he's gonna to kill himself. All right. Hey, Billy Rednuts, my dad's been smoking since he was 14 years old. And at 62 years old, he recently had his second heart attack. Jesus Christ. The doctor has told him flat out, if you want to live, you have to, talk, you have to stop smoking. Um, yeah, I would think so. Even after hearing this, he lit up a cigar five minutes after getting out of the hospital. I got into a huge argument with him about it, and I told him if he didn't give a shit about his health, then I shouldn't care either. We didn't talk for months. Wow, dude, this is fucking heavy here. Uh, we've tried to we've tried reasoning with him. We've tried yelling at him. We've tried guilting him with the don't you want to walk me down the aisle routine. None of it works. To clarify, he smokes cigars every single day, all throughout the day. So it's more than an occasional puff. Uh, his diminishing health is visible in his everyday interactions with us. It's harder for him to breathe. He can't. Is he inhaling? He can't walk as fast as or as far as he used to. He can barely play with his grandkids, and his face has aged immensely since the last heart attack. Every time I get a call from a family member, I get anxious that it's going to be the call, telling him my dad has had his last heart attack. It's, I'm constantly on pins and needles. And it's really starting to affect me. Yeah, I would think so. Uh, as someone who has struggled with certain vices yourself, what finally made you feel like you wanted to limit your intake? Uh, is there a way I can get through to my father and get him to quit for good? Or should I just accept the fact that we all go someday and let him enjoy himself for the limited amount of time he has left? Thanks and go fuck yourself. All right. Wow. Um, all right, what makes me want to limit my intake is because I don't want to end up being like that. Um, but I, I also, I don't know, I don't like having shit have control over me. You know what I mean? And uh, I also found that like when you're just constantly smoking a cigar, you know, if you smoke too much, like they, they're not special anymore. Like it's great when, you know, I like now just planning a cigar night like a couple weeks away. Like uh, the absolutely fucking hilarious Burt Kreischer is um, one of the great guys you could ever hang out with. Forget about smoke a cigar with. He's trying to organize a cigar night. And um, I already have it circled on my calendar. I'm excited. I'm thinking about what cigar I'm going to have. But like when I just, you know, have a whole box of them and every night I'm just going out there smoking. It's just you start smelling like a cigar. It's bad. It's like. You know, if I'm drinking every night, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I, I don't like the way I feel. I don't like the way I feel when I wake up in the morning. And I know it's bad. I know it's aging me. I, I just know I know it's bad for me. But with your dad, that he's been doing this for so fucking long, um, I would definitely, I would be livid at my dad if he was doing that. And I would be unbelievably frustrated and I would continue, obviously, to try to get him to stop because you love your dad, you know. However, there does come a point where it's just like if the, the person has resigned themselves to this is what they want to do. I mean, if he just had his fucking second heart attack and the doctor's going, listen, you're going to die if you don't stop smoking. And he walks out and literally just lights up a cigar. Um, obviously, he's a complete addict, and but I don't know. He's not fighting it on any level, so um, I don't know. Depending on how exhausted you are, I know myself, after a while, I would just say, you know what? Fuck it. Um, and it would suck because when my dad, if my dad died like that, I would, there would be a definite level of resentment and anger that I would have at him. But I, I just think maybe the peace you can find is that he's addicted. He's an addict, and this isn't your father making this decision. It's it's the chemicals and all of that shit that makes you, makes you do this. That's really unfortunate, man. There's really nothing funny in there. 
Um, Jesus. I was going to smoke a cigar tonight, too. <laughs> Um, I guess that fucking, that's out the goddamn window. Jesus Christ. 